So for now, we are just so excited to see Julio, Luis Castillo, George Kirby. You know, this is just really yes. going to be quite the game to watch. Let's visit now with Brian McMillan. You're going to break this down for us. It's really going to be a great game. Well, yeah, and I mean, you know, this isn't the first time that the Mariners have hosted the All-Star Game. This is actually the third time. And somebody who's been now to, well, I guess all three all-star games you know a lot of the history here randy adamack with mayors and tell me uh what was it like back in 1979 here uh back in the kingdom for the all-star game and how is it different than today well it was very exciting first of all i mean they're they're all they've all been exciting but that was the third year of the Mariners' existence. So we were a pretty young franchise, pretty young organization at the time. And the Kingdome was brand, brand relatively new, a three- or four-year-old building. So uh, putting 58,000 people in there, um, it's, you know, it, was a, it was a great experience. Great, it was great for baseball in Seattle to help elevate the game in the, in the franchise. And well, the, and of course, that's, that was a heck of a summer, too, because we also, Sonics won the championship, and then we turn around and we host the All-Star game. Yeah, they won the championship, which was exciting for the, everybody, the whole region. Yeah. And, you know, the, uh, the temperature on game day in, 19, in 1979 for the All-Star game, 96 degrees in Whoa. Seattle. Believe, you believe that? <laughs> I mean... Well, that would be miserable here today, and, thankfully. And people were, they were happy to go inside the kingdom because it was air conditioning at the time, so it worked out well at that point. Absolutely. Okay, and then, you know, we, we hosted it again uh, in 2001. How is that different than what you're seeing out here today? Well, you know, all each time we've hosted it, the, the event has grown from a, basically from a game in 79 to a five-day event in in 2001 to basically a, a five-day event plus in, in, two, in 2023 so it's been 22 years between each one and um, the greatest thing about the, right now is there's the other events that have been added have basically been a chance for fans to get more and more involved with each of the diff different events throughout the week and that's that's a real plus for everybody and it's you know it's great for the community each time we've done it it's been great for the community you know one you know we we were in a season where we won 116 games and we were on our way to doing that the team was in first place each year was brand new uh, there was just a ton of ton of uh, spotlight on the Seattle area, and it's the spotlights here again. I mean, it's been great. And watching Julio last night and that show he put on was spectacular. So much fun, so much fun. And you're right, this has turned into a big five-day event now. Uh, and uh, and you have Play Ball Park now. We have this like village of baseball, yeah. which everybody is loving, even if they don't get a chance to go to the game. And I know a lot of people I've talked to here aren't going to the All-Star game. Instead, they just are coming here and experiencing all this. So it gives yeah more people a chance to enjoy this yeah between play ball park which you know, there'll be over a hundred thousand people here over the five days um you know the the the, the drone show that they did uh some of the, the youth baseball and softball tournaments that are going on out in the marketplace i mean it's been it's there's a lot going on it's been a great job it's been great for the city i think i think bouncing back off the pandemic and everything else going yeah. on it's just been a great chance to showcase the area the, the waterfront Everything else is going on. And in you here. were a part of uh, the bid to get this game here in Seattle. So how, was it a difficult sell to Major League Baseball? <laughs> well, you know, it's become a much more business-like proposal now. It's not like the com commissioner sits back and decides, okay, it's going to be <laughs> here or there. Um, we started the process in 2017 where we actually started the process of getting the city, the county, the state, the sports commission, Visit Seattle, everybody involved that needed to be involved. And um, we finally, we were able to finally submit the bid itself in September of 2019. 2021, it was awarded to us, and here we go. I mean, it's now it's this is the final day. That had to feel pretty good when they when they announced it. Did it when you got that phone call? Yeah, it was it was a great day for everybody. We we had a good celebration in the old office. Yeah, I bet. And and you, we were talking off camera a little bit ago. This is about the closest thing to the Super Bowl that baseball gets because you know for the World Series, yes, that is spectacular. Right. But uh, it's it's not this this uh, kind of destination, kind of neutral place that everybody can go, right? Well, because the it's it's possible you don't know who's going to play in the world series until two days before it starts <laughs> you know it's tough for everybody to plan to put on this kind of a stage this kind of an event it's impossible so baseball has taken the all-star event and as you said as we've talked about already grown it and now you know this this is this is the super bowl of baseball really 
Well, I hope you get a chance to relax and just enjoy the game and, and enjoy this third All-Star game here in yeah. Seattle. It's going to be a blast, you guys. And uh, for more here at Playball Park, I want to send it back to Jody and Bender. What are you guys up to out there?